Hi guys, it's Kat here from spiritual-candy.com. So here I am with today's pick a card reading, which is a message you need to hear. I've got four groups here, two, one, four, and three. Um, before we start, it is an intuitive reading. I've got two oracle cards, two uh, Rider Waite tarot cards. Um, it is just a short, fun reading. If you would like a proper in-depth reading with me, it's £20, 20 minutes, and you get your reading in 24 hours, please check the description box below for details of how to do that. Okay, guys, so let's get on with today's reading. I don't know where to put them. <laughs> I'm running out of space on my desk. Here we go. Hi, guys. How are you doing? I hope you're really great. So, um... A message you need to hear. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> right, okay. That's fine. <laughs> so they're just talking to me about the order of them. Um, I can talk about them out of order, of course. They're not in any particular order when I um, pick the group up. Um but I like them to be laid out the way I talk about them. So we've got stick with it, make the effort, the hermit and judgment. Okay, so the message you need to hear is that you it's really clear for you guys. You need to stick with it. Whatever it is, there's something in your life that has been proving challenging. There's something that you've maybe been trying to work out you found it difficult. I feel like this is almost like a nine of wands energy. You know, you've really been through some difficulty and you're trying to get there, but it just seems like an endless battle. The reality is you just need to stick with it. Keep doing what you're doing. Um, they've also got some more advice for you with the hermit, which we'll come to in a minute, but you need to stick with it. You need to make the effort. Now this is romance angels card. You might, your situation might not be romantic doesn't matter because this isn't specific although it is a romance deck it doesn't have to be a romantic piece of advice it says on the card great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take so if you're not inquiring about love you can put a great job is worth taking the steps you're guided to take or a great friendship or a great relocation whatever it is it's like You've got to make the effort. Now, they're not saying you haven't made the effort because I think the issue for you guys isn't that you haven't made the effort. It's that you've perhaps been um, looking outside of yourself for the answer instead of within. There's a need to stick with it. You've got the hermit card. You're maybe going to have to withdraw a little, not look at outside of yourself, but instead look internally for the answer to your situation. If you look within, if you reorient yourself back to your inner light, you will find the answer. Okay, so you may need to go into solitude, you may need to do some meditation or take some time to yourself, but you will find the resilience and the way or any answers that you're looking for. Okay, so they're saying, the guides are saying to you that if you don't feel like you can keep going, if you feel like you need an answer or you need information, go within because they're trying to talk to you intuitively, okay? What you're going to find though is that very soon you're going to have an opportunity, something that once it comes up, it's going to change the whole situation forever. You're going to have a bit of a rebirth, a chance to take things in a whole new direction. You're going to have an opportunity that you won't be able to say no to because it will just be so good and it will really change the situation. But in order to get there, whoa, I do this every time, every single time. <laughs> every time I sit down to do readings and at least one reading, I knock this over. Um, sorry, Buddha. So, yeah, where was I? I've lost my train of thought now. Yeah, okay. So what they're saying is, is that... Um, if you are struggling to know how you're going to get there, if you feel like you just... I, I've lost what I was saying before. I obviously was either saying the wrong thing or it didn't need to be said or else they would be telling me again. But what they're saying now is they're just reaffirming here that this hermit energy, it's like you need to make effort and you need to stick with it. But actually, don't panic about the situation because in actual fact... 
if you go within you're going to have some sort of revelation you're going to have some sort of realization but you are going to need to go within right you are going to need to listen to your inner self in order to get this aha moment in order to get this breakthrough does that make sense i hope it does yeah because this opportunity is amazing and it's not saying well, if you don't listen to the within, we're not going to give it to you. It's not like that. It's just that this may be the way you access it. You know, that you're going to get those messages via your sort of inner intuitive state. So you're going to need to be quiet in order to hear that piece of information. All right. So that's the message they wanted you to hear. Hope this makes sense. So much love, guys. I will see you on tomorrow's reading or a private reading in the meantime. Hi guys, I hope you're really great. Okay, so um, a message you need to hear. So I have chosen a Romance Angels card, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's about romance. Although you've got a Double Cups card, so and it is probably a person or people. So it is possible that it's romantic, but once again, it's healing family issues, so it doesn't have to be romantic situation. Take bite-sized steps. You've got the King of Cups and the Page of Cups. So the message that they they need you to hear, that you need to hear, sorry, um, is that you do need to go through this healing. There's some healing that you need to take on board. There's some healing that you need to do. You're aware of this. It says your love life, but if you're not inquiring about love life, your work life, your general life, whatever, your life benefits as you forgive your parents. It doesn't have to be parents. It, this can be a symbol for anyone who was a sort of guide or anyone who was some sort of influence on you when you were younger. The point here is it's about healing those patterns that you've had since childhood. What they're saying is, is that you need to take bite-sized steps. You're, you're having problems here or you may be having problems or difficulties either getting what you want or getting yourself to a position where you feel comfortable and more peaceful and happy because you're trying to do too much in one go you're trying to you're expecting a lot of yourself actually what you need to do is take bite-sized steps and this is okay that now this makes sense they're talking to me about this now i didn't know whether this was a person or a people it's not it's you it's you it doesn't matter whether you're male or female they're saying that in order to get what you want in order to move towards this manifestation or in order to kind of um get where you want to be whether it's a romantic situation or not, it doesn't matter. They're saying that you need to take the bite-sized steps to move from the Page of Cups to the King of Cups. And this is just a symbol of moving from the child to the adult. Moving from that old pain to the mature, stable adult who's ready to make that spiritual development, make that movement forwards and move on in their life. So the way to move on, the way to move forward is to heal the family issue, heal your old pain, but in bite-sized steps. Your issue is you're taking on too much at once and that's why it's not happening quickly. Bizarrely and counterintuitively perhaps, and I'm taking that, using that in the normal sense of the phrase, not spiritually, <laughs> um, that actually it will feel like it will take longer because you're taking smaller steps but it'll actually be quicker than trying to take large steps. You know, hope this makes sense. So much love number twos. I'll see you on tomorrow's reading or a private reading in the meantime. Hi number threes, hope you're great. So, what a message you need to hear. Unrequited love, clear the fog, justice, the hierophant. Right, this doesn't have to be love, by the way, but there's something that you're trying to get, attain, manifest. It could be love, it could be a person, it could be a situation. You've become foggy about this. You're not being clear. You're not being clear. You've got the hierophant and justice. These are so um, uh, so uh, procedure-like cards. You know, they're both very... They're not rigid. Well, they are quite rigid, yeah. Um, they don't have to be, but the, the energy is of the justice and the hierophant together is sort of doing things by the book, doing things clearly, rationally, sticking to what you know, the tried and tested, Doing what's right, doing what feels right 
from a moral point of view to you i don't mean society's morals i mean you know what you feel by spiritual law or in your own world or whatever feels right to you it's about sticking to what's right what's just and also sticking to what feels like um the structure that makes sense to you there's you need to bring some clarity into this situation you've got very foggy over this whatever it is this situation it could be romantic it could be something else that you've clicked on this reading about there's something in your life that you want and it's not happening because it's not meant for you it, you know you may think you want it but it's because you've got very unclear you need to clear the situation up you need to become clearer in your mind you need to become clearer in and more logical and sensible and procedural <laughs> in the way you would approach this situation it's all become a bit foggy and a bit all over the place get yourself clear do the right thing do what you know works stick to the tried and tested keep yourself on the right path for you and let go of all the fuzziness and all of the lack of clarity and then you will see that what you're trying to do is just not going to work out for you all. In this moment, at this moment, in this situation, it's not working out for you. It doesn't mean it can't in the future. But if it does not meant for you, there'll be something better coming along. But it's just getting clear so that you can let either this phase of the situation go or the personal situation go. It can be either. Thank you so much, number threes. I'll see you on tomorrow's reading or a private reading in the meantime. Hi, number fours. How are you doing? I hope you're great. So, a message you need to hear. You deserve love. Give yourself the best. The world and the two of ones. Okay, there's something that you want. It's probably a relationship. Because this is the card of partnership. You're wanting to come together in something. You're wanting something to manifest. You had an inspiration a while ago. You're hoping that it will work. You're hoping that something will happen. The message here is that it will happen. It can happen. It can happen. It probably will happen. This person is holding the, the globe, the world, and then you've got the world. This can and will happen. You have a lot of power to manifest the situation you want. This difficult time, this situation that you've been going through, this process that you've been going through for quite a long time, is coming to an end. You're getting to the point where you can have what you want, where things can manifest. This is the world. It's the best card in the deck. You get what you want. You get what you need. Things start to manifest in a beautiful way. You get to choose what you like. You've got the Midas touch. How do you need to move? How does this happen? Well, the two of one says it's going to be a little bit of a waiting game because there's some things that need to be put in place. What needs to be put in place? You need to know you're lovable and you need to give yourself the best. Okay, so you need to start treating yourself in this way. Giving yourself the best, taking good care of yourself, loving yourself, knowing that you deserve love and practicing on and with yourself in the areas that you can. So giving yourself a bubble bath, uh, taking yourself out for dinner, doing nice things for yourself, taking good care of yourself because this will show the universe if you like it will send out a vibration and an energy of someone who feels like they have reached the end of this journey you know in terms of this phase of the journey someone who is ready to move forward someone who feels fantastic and ready and happy hope this makes sense so much love number fours thank you so much to everyone for watching today's reading which was a pick a card on a message you need to hear so much love to you guys i will see you on tomorrow's reading or a private reading in the meantime see you soon